According to national numbers, suicide is now at the highest levels in 30 years, bringing more attention to the issue of mental illness. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how a group of students is using their voices to bring awareness to these issues. Juanita. Well, every year, the Fresno County Youth Choir addresses an important issue through its music. And as we found out, the topics of suicide and mental health were extremely personal for many of its members. A gathering of old friends. There were also some new faces as the Fresno County Youth Choir came to life for its annual summer session. We only get together for two weeks before we start performing and seeing how quickly those students make connections both to one another but also to our topic. Um, it's really those connections that are the reason I think that FCYC's performances tend to be so moving. is amazing that in this short time span this group of young people from throughout Fresno County becomes one family with one voice. They're also forcing themselves out of their comfort zone to learn music quickly, get to know each other quickly, and be able to perform and actually spread what they really do believe is their mission of love and kindness and light and music and just sharing their gifts with everybody. They sing with a purpose. So let it rain. Each year focusing on an important issue. This summer, taking on mental health and suicide prevention. And as we found out, it is a subject that has touched many members of this choir personally. It was 4th of July and he was at our house. The night consumes me. Everyone thought he was looking for shoes and keys. A single tear drips down my face. He went in to the safe, to his dad's safe, where there was a gun. My hands cold. And he went to the backyard and shot himself. I feel no pain. It was a year ago that 18-year-old Jaleesa Johnson lost her brother to suicide. I said to myself when I found out, I said, why? Why, why, did, why did he do that? Why did he, have, why did he go? Mental health experts say one in four adults have a mental disorder. They often suffer in silence, and it can take years for them to get the proper diagnosis and treatment. I knew back in high school that uh, I felt different, different, quote-unquote, than everybody else, um, but I didn't know why. 32-year-old Sharam Moore is the accompanist for the Fresno County Youth Choir and says it took years for her to get properly diagnosed and treatment for anxiety and depression. She wants people to know there is hope. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to let your family know, let your friends know, let your support system know that something's wrong. And then actually having the, the, the willingness to go and get help. While the music hits close to home for many in this choir, it also offers hope, an uplifting message the choir takes to hospitals, homeless shelters, and this year to the steps of the state capitol in Sacramento. I think so much of what our legislators tend to deal with is, is fixing problems. And I think it's really exciting and encouraging for them to see young people who are just as excited about finding the solutions to those problems, about being the change that they want to see in the world. Choir director Aaron Bryan often quotes this choir's mission in service to the community. It's, it's our goal and our mission to create multicultural harmony through music that fills the heart lifts the soul and that we believe has the power to change lives. Just because of what's going on, um, I just feel like the world right now needs a lot of love, a lot of um, hope, and this is exactly what we're here to do. So it's awesome. Now the choir members work with the Central Valley Suicide Prevention Hotline and handed out information about the organization at all of its performances. And I just love that 
I mean, they, they sound they great, sound wonderful. but they're not just singing pretty songs for the sake of singing them. They're delivering a message in the process. Right. I mean, what, a, what a great learning experience for these kids. Yes, and they did. They spent time with uh, officials. They learned about the issue. Uh, so it really helped them to be able to go out and sing about this and have the information well, too. And you mentioned it hit close to home for we heard from the one young lady. But... Yeah, and, and the accompanist. And I just wanted to say when we asked for volunteers, young people who may know someone who want to speak about this, uh, five, six, seven kids in the choir itself That's have personal stories. Wow. Yeah. What a great message though they're delivering. Thank you, Juanita.